If you want to figure out how to manifest now, manifest now, as opposed to waiting for a series of events to happen first, then you're going to want to watch this video. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? I hope you are all living your absolute best lives, choosing to be the version of yourself that has exactly what you want. I hope you're doing that. I really do. Let me start off with some basic bitch as fast as I can say it. We're going to try to do it super fast today because I'm in a rush. Okay, if you need help figuring out what's going on between a you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screen, so just went by. I have two channel memberships on here, YouTubes, or two. I have the, whoopsie, the exclusive lives coaching group where I go live with them every single Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. That is the group that you want to join if you're into hearing success stories. And I mean endless success stories. I am not kidding you. That is the group to join if you get judged by hearing about other people getting fantastic movement and fantastic, unbelievable, sometimes sound so unbelievable, success stories, successes. If you're into that, that's the group, the Exclusive Lives Coaching. We don't talk about your specific circumstances in that group. This is a success story, tips and tri tricks only group. That's the group where we want to feel good. We want to keep, you know, pushing on our journey and feeling judged. If you do want to hear about other people's circumstances and actually yourself get into the hot seat and ask me a question about your circumstances, you want to join the hot seat slash group coaching that I go live with them on Fridays at 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. If you join that group, you have access to both the groups. It's two for the price of one. Um, I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Clapper. I also would love every single one of you to join me everywhere. I love hanging out with my HBICs. If you want to just hang out with me when I'm not talking about manifestation, feel free to join me on my other channel, Kimberly's Other Life. And thank you to all of you who have uh, most recently joined me over there. Thank you so much. My subscriber counts are going up. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're new here, how you doing? I'm Kimberly and I am always like this, zany, a little zany. But definitely sexy, sassy, saucy, and a little bit snarky. And I'm obsessed with manifestation and getting what I want. So this is what we do over here. This is what we talk about. And if you're into it and you can handle my personality, I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. And I would appreciate if each and every one of you would give this video a like so it can get out to other people who might not be having the best time in their lives. They need to know about conscious manifestation and maybe they need to hear it from a little sass like me so let's finally jump into the video if you are interested in manifesting quickly effortlessly like fast fast if that's your desire if that's what you would like to experience when you're sitting around thinking about what you're manifesting what do you think about do you think about specific events that have to take place before your manifestation can come? Do you look at your specific person and think, okay, well, they're currently with someone else or they are currently with a third party. So do you look at that and think to yourself that literally and logically certain events have to take place in a linear, timely fashion? 
Are you looking at yourself and you're thinking about your manifestation of money and you're thinking, well, a certain order of events. I have to manifest a part-time job and I'm going to manifest getting that extra paycheck and at over some time, I'm going to I'm going to invest in the right thing and um, then I'll have to wait a certain amount of other time for the money to, you know, get up in interest and whatever it is when we do investments, that money back. Are you thinking literally and logically about things that have to take place in order for you to get your manifestation. And if you can say yes to that, and most of us do, most of us do get caught thinking that way about what we're manifesting, you are choosing to limit yourself. You're choosing to limit your own manifestation. Yep, that's what I said. Limit the manifestation. You're doing it. And today, you're going to stop. As an individual, you move and live in time, but your true being is in eternity. Think of the vertical line of the cross as the line of being upon which there are unnumbered levels of awareness. Now, time cannot make you better or wiser. In fact, time cannot do a thing towards changing your level of being. For change is all on the vertical line where you move to a higher or lower levels of your own being. Because change is imminent, we speak of it as an infinite imminence, as nearer than near and sooner than now. The man you would like to be is imminent. He is nearer than near. The ideal you dream of being is sooner than now and is brought into being by a change in your reactions to life. In the book of Revelations, we are told, I will give to every being according to his work. The only work you are called upon to do is work on yourself. Start this work by observing your reactions to life. Remember, your future is not being developed. It already is. The time track is complete, as well as all of the events you can encounter. As you move up or down the level of your being, changes will occur in your life. You are now resting at a certain level. Arise, take up your crutch, and walk. By breaking the threads of life that bind you to the state you are now in, break these threads by changing your thoughts, for only as you rise within will you find a corresponding change without. This is from uh, the interpretation of Neville Goddard, one of Neville Goddard's lectures from one of his actual students. So uh, some of the wording might be changed uh, per this person's perspective, but this person is literally, you know, transcribing one of Neville Goddard's lectures, just in case any of you are wondering where I just got that from. Um, but long story short, you are not bound by linear time. And I always put linear time in this little motion with my arm, that straight line, right? The straight line of linear time. You are not bound by that. And don't get me wrong, I know it's quite normal to believe in linear time, right? Because the world, the 3D world around us lives by the clock, right? But that's not what manifestation's doing. Manifestation goes vertical, right? Manifestation goes up and hops from reality to reality or time track to time track or state of being to state of being. And the reason why I word it in that way is because when you choose to be a particular version of yourself, you are literally hopping to that time track or to that reality. You are hopping. But in order to hop, you must go vertical. So when we are manifesting and we are seeing the journey as long, or if we are seeing the journey as other than it's been taking a long time, but now all the specific order of events must take place in order for me to have my manifestation, you are binding your own manifestation. You are deciding that it must take a long time. On top of the fact that you're not even aware of how your manifestation is going to unfold. You, you have no knowledge on how a manifestation is going to un unfold. None of us were invited to that party. And you see, that party was done alone with the I am. <laughs> we weren't invited to it yet. We were not versions of self when these things were created. It was done a really long time ago. 
We were never invited to that. Hence why we, we say so consistently in this community that don't worry about the how. Don't worry about how your manifestation is going to come to you. If you find yourself heavily focused on that, I understand why. I resonate. I relate. I, I, I was stuck on the thinking of how my own lump sum money manifestation came. I was very stuck on it. So I get it, but you're stuck on it because of the habit of being the logical, literal thinking human that you are. It's from your conditioning. So you see with manifestation, as we are choosing to be a new version of ourself, we are breaking, as as this as what I just read said, the threads of these limits. You're breaking yourself free from the limitations of time, from the limitations of space. We, when manifesting, are not dealing specifically with our 3D world. We are going a, a, a level up. We are dealing with the spiritual world, right? For lack of a better phrase or word, the spiritual world. The spiritual world or the upper levels or dimensions above the 3D is not bound by human time, linear time, or our clock, our calendar. Our manifestation is absolutely already created. So you're not even creating your manifestation. That's, a, that, that's why I say that's a word we got to draw. I say all the time in my videos or from how I teach manifestation. Your old way of thinking, that logical, literal interpretation of your 3D world is not going to serve you while manifesting. Hence why usually when we start worrying about our manifestation, when we start wondering how it's going to unfold or when is it finally going to show up? When is the 3D going to show me that it's actually working? When we are thinking thoughts like that, that's, that's definitely why we start feeling very, very crappy about our manifestation. That's why we start worrying because we are thinking logical, literal thought, or we are making a judgment about our reality through old logical, literal experiences that we have had along our life track. Again, in the 3D, again, logical, literal thinking. So if you have found yourself in a cycle of consistently looking at the 3D, number one is not working, or number two, it must take a long time because these specific 3D events must take place. You are trying to bind your own manifestation. You're trying to slow that thing down. You're looking at manifestation as if it is limited by linear time. We go vertical. We are rising in consciousness. Manifestation is literally just you bringing into your awareness the you that has the manifestation. That's, that's all we're doing, right? We're expanding our awareness. So if you find yourself thinking literally and logically about time, about the events, I'm going to keep saying it. This is going to be a repeat phrase in this video. Just so you know, this entire video, I have been trying to get a black spot off of the uh, wall behind me. And I have, and you don't even know how many times I have had to stop this video or at least stop talking to try to get this black dot off of my wall. And turns out it was just on my phone. <sighs> anyway, so I hope you're all seeing what I'm saying. I hope you're all picking up what I'm putting down. You're not bound by linear time. We are going vertical. We are rising in consciousness. We are choosing new states of beings. And when we choose these new beings, we leave this current reality. And you are going to the reality where your manifestation is all yours. Absolutely, unequivocally yours. So... How to manifest anything you want quickly and easily, like super fast. Start asking yourself, what do you think it would feel like if you were living with that manifestation right now? Look at it like a child would as they are playing with Barbies. 
and they're interacting with the Barbie characters, a child is getting into their imagination and allowing themselves the freedom of getting out of their limited 3D little bodies and they are, you know, putting life into Barbie and Ken or Barbie and Barbie. That's essentially what you're allowing yourself to do with manifestation. You're allowing yourself to step into the new character of yourself, the you that has the full manifestation. And when you ask yourself, what would it feel like? You allow yourself to actually entertain the idea of, I'm that person now. I'm the me that's going to have the manifestation. I'm the me that is a multimillionaire. I'm the me that is in the most loving, fulfilling, committed relationship of her life. I'm that me now. I'm her now. I don't have to say that I see it in my 3D. I just have to decide that I am that me now, right now. And my 3D is unfolding into that full manifestation. You see, when you allow yourself to get into your imagination. And guys, getting into your imagination just means, uh, think of daydreaming. Think of wishing. Think of when you're watching, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> like the movie Twilight or, or any love romantic story when you are imagining what it would be like to be that girl that gets Edward or Jacob. It's the same idea. It's entertaining your imagination. And as you entertain that, over and over as in, in repetition, as you allow yourself to truly feel and think like you all, you are already that version of yourself. That is what is making that new character or that new version of yourself feel more natural to you. And you will see how life in the 3D begins to reflect that new version of yourself. And listen, don't get hung up on how you feel or whether you're able to imagine today because maybe you had a shitty day at work. It's not about being perfect at this. It's not about, I must reach this specific, I must reach this particular feeling every day or else I won't get my manifestation. None of that is true. All you're doing is allowing yourself through repetition to touch that reality. Because every time you make the decision to be the version of you that has the manifestation, you're going there. You're going to that reality. You're there. It's when you come back into the character that you're trying to not be anymore. It's when you go back to that and you begin the doubting, you begin worrying, you look at your manifestation like this logical, literal bridge of incidents has to take place before I can have it. You go back to that reality. But by you making the simple decision of, I am that version of me now. I'm that girl now, or I'm that guy now. You go back. And I saw a comment the other day saying that that seems not explained well enough. How am I supposed to interact with my day-to-day -day while I am being new self? Like regular life, Kim. I expect you to go live your regular life and do what you would do any other day. Get up in the morning, get ready for school. Or get up in the morning, get ready for work. Or get up in the morning and take care of the kids. Or get up in the morning and do whatever it is you would do any other day. But with the new perspective that, holy crap, I'm actually the me that's going to have my manifestation. That's who I am now. I get to be her. I'm still living my day-to-day -day 3D life. But in here, I know the secret. I know what the other 3D people that I intermingle with don't know. They don't know that I'm going to have all these things. I'm going to have that relationship. And I'm going to have that money because I'm her now. I'm her right now. That's what I expect you to do. That's what you do. Don't overthink this. Don't make it feel more difficult. And if you're someone new, just finding manifestation and all of this sounds too good to be true or like there should be more to it, that is exactly what the problem is with people who are not manifesting what they want is because they think this is too good to be true and they blow it off and they go right back to being their limited doubt-ridden selves. It is this easy.
It is this easy. You might have moments in your 3D that don't feel amazing because you're still having a human experience. But making the decision to be your new self absolutely transports you to that reality, whether you feel it or not. Me asking you to entertain the thought of what would it feel like to be the you that has it? What do you think life would be like, right? What do you think it would be like? Well, being that it's you that's going to have the experience, you are in the awareness of what it would feel like. Even if all you can think of is, I think I'd feel good. Okay, good. There you go. You know how it's going to feel. Saying that it's going to happen, that, that little phrase doesn't keep it in the future away from you, especially if you are looking at your 3D and making that decision with conviction that everything you're experiencing is a part of your unfolding to that manifestation. You are not bound by linear time. You are not bound by space. I don't care if you're in New York with me and your SP is in Antarctica. I don't care. You are not bound. You two will not be kept in separation if you keep returning to the decision to be the you that is married to that specific person and you both live in New York together. Period. It's because you're thinking limited. You're thinking small. You're thinking literal, like linear time. You're bigger than that. Manifestation is touching dimensions much bigger than this little 3D world around us. You're not limited. Stop limiting your own manifestation. And I'm telling you, if you begin to tell yourself that you are already that person now, things will change quickly. It isn't a coincidence that all the peeps, especially my channel members, who are applying this new way of thinking, this new idea of deciding to be new self, whether they're making that decision through affirmations, visualizations, or scripting, or inner conversations, all of them that are applying this and actually allowing themselves to see that, that they are that version now, they are getting movement. They are getting full manifestations. So it won't fail you. It's not a coincidence that they are experiencing their uh, joys. It's not a coincidence. It's because it works and it can be this easy. It feels like a long time because you're focused on it being a long time. Choose differently and it will change. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Then I want you for one minute to sit back and think for a minute. When you're thinking about what you're manifesting, If you are thinking there is this definite order, this logical, literal.
There is something driving me crazy on my wall and it's not on the wall. What is that? Has it just been on my phone the whole time? 